Hi, I'm Vanessa from the website speakenglishwithvanessa.com. Did you mess it up? Let's talk about it. In today's video, I want to teach you a natural phrasal verb that we use when there's a problem. So you're not perfect, I'm not perfect, we all have problems in our lives, and sometimes it's our fault. So this phrasal verb you can use in the situations. What's the phrasal verb? It's mess up. Mess up. Did you mess up? This means did you do something wrong? Today I want to show you two things so that you can more easily understand how to use this phrasal verb. The first thing is a short clip from a video that I took of my husband Dan playing pool with his sister. The second thing is a short story from my childhood where I messed up. Let's take a look at the first thing. In this video, you'll see Dan playing pool with his sister. He has the final shot, and if he makes this shot, he wins the game. So he's going to use this expression in a negative way. He says, don't mess it up. Let's listen. Don't win. Don't win. Can't mess this up. Can't mess this up. Can't mess this up. I don't want to be the loser. Yes! Oh, I'm the loser! As you can see, Dan's pretty excited that he won the game. And at the end of this video, I want to show you his victory dance. But first, let me show you the second story so that you can see how to use the word mess up. When my sister and I were in elementary school, we wanted to bake cookies by ourselves for the first time. We'd always done it with our parents, but we wanted to do it alone. We were ready to do it by ourselves. So we mixed all the ingredients, and the final ingredient was baking soda. Baking soda is a powder that you add to help the cookies or bread or some other kind of thing that you're making rise up a little bit. So you only need a little bit of it. In fact, you only need this much. This is one half of a teaspoon. This is an American measurement that we were supposed to use for the baking soda, but we, probably me, I didn't read the instructions carefully enough, and we added instead of one half teaspoon, we added one half of a cup. This is one cup. We added one half cup of baking soda. Now, what would happen if we added that much? Well, we were a little bit worried because there wasn't one half cup of baking soda left in the container. So we asked my dad, is there more baking soda? We finished it. Is there some more we can use? And when he saw how much we used, he said, Oh no, I think you messed up the cookies. There's no way to get it out of the mixture now. You're just gonna have to bake it and see what happened. And you know, we messed it up. We messed up our cookie dough, but we wanted to see what was gonna happen, so we put it in the oven, and when we took it out, it was huge. It was one giant cookie, and my dad, he was the one who took it out of the oven. He accidentally touched it on the counter a little bit and it exploded. I'm not kidding. These cookies were full of air. They exploded and it became one thin, huge cookie. And of course they tasted terrible. So my sister decided to bring them to school and let her friend try them. And her friend tried it and said, these are great. She had no idea that we messed them up. So I hope this funny little story about my first baking experience will help you to learn how to use the word mess up. I hope you don't mess it up. Now it's your turn. I want you to be able to use this expression naturally. So in the comments below this video, I want you to answer this question. 
When was a time that you messed up something? When did you mess up something small or something big? Let us know in the comments below so that you can use this phrasal verb. I'll see you again the next time. Goodbye. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to download my free ebook where you can learn five steps to becoming a confident English speaker. You can share it on Facebook, upgrade to the listening audio version, and don't forget to check your email to get the free ebook. Let's see what it is. All right, here is the free ebook. You can download yours today. Just click on the link and it will be in your email within a few seconds. Thanks so much for learning with me. Bye.